Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So you will see that the Jeep is actually on ramps now. And that is because I think the motor is blown. We'll see. So let's get started. So yes, I think the motor is blown. Um, well, let me show you what's going on underneath this Jeep. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but there's just a ton of oil everywhere. So what happened is I took it out for a spin right now. So there you can see a nice trail of oil. Um, basically I took this out for the test drive right now and to run some diagnostics. So guys, I think the bit, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this whole sump and see if I can see anything other than just oil and stuff. So to remove this sump doesn't look too easy. It's got a ton of bolts going into the front here where accessibility is also an issue. And then I'll have to somehow drop it, slide it out to that way. And yeah, so this is very upside down. It's very uncomfortable, but let's try and see if I can do this. Okay, so I'll start by just draining the oil first. Sure, this is quite a big leap. I feel I'm gonna make a mess here. I'm interested to see what the world looks like. I don't want to get a world in my hands. Not today. Ah! Yeah, I don't want to get a world in my hands. Got it just about everywhere else. Come on! Check him on mace. Jeez, like it. Uh, yeah, I didn't get all my hands right. Could have been worse. Just all of that. Jeez, like it. Anyways, I'm gonna leave that just to drain out. Fucking the light. Oh. And then try and clean that up quickly. Okay, so I've thrown my cat's litter there and a little box here so i'm gonna try and remove all those bolts on the sump now just to drop it so i'm gonna wow so this is what happens if you live close to a military base Okay, so let's remove uh, those bolts from the sump and then do a diagnostic to see what's going on at the bottom. Well, whatever I found, I hope that's not too bad. Okay, so as I started loosening the sump, water starts come running out through that joint. You can see quite a lot of water. I think I blew the head gasket as well. So I don't know if that is a good or a bad thing. I don't know. Should I just take out the motor or should I? I don't know what to do to be honest. Um, should we just swap it? <laughs> so if you ever wonder how to take your oil pan out from a Jeep WJ 2.7 first off remove the bumper undo all the bolts then use an engine crane to lift the engine up so you can actually get it out what a mission Mercedes what anyways guys this is bad this is 
bad. Let me show you the lemon that I bought. So I've got a lot in here. It's difficult to see as it is. So first off, here's our pickup tube. There is no filter on our pickup tube. Meaning as well, I'm losing like a little bit of height that it needs to pick up. Anyways, except for that, now if I go closer, I'm gonna bring a light there. You see those rings on number three? That's heat. Number two has got that. I can't say for sure number one, but I'm pretty sure it's got it. Number four has it, and number five has it. Speaking of number five, remember that's the cylinder that really made it fun on the injectors. It's got, yeah, it's got bearing noise on it. Number four is okay. It's not great, but definitely these bearings have run hot at some point. I actually want to take off these caps. I can I probably take off number five, take off the caps and drop the bearing and just see what it looks like. Then also I see some marks on this, which is actually picking up the timing. I'm not sure what you call this, but it picks up the timing. Somebody definitely dropped the bolt or something in there. So the question has changed, not to what we should do, more like to what should we put in it. <laughs> yeah, comment down below what you would like to see put in this Jeep or should I just scrap it and sell it as spares? Which I would make a pretty big loss on it, I think. But either way, this engine is done um, I'm not gonna try and save it it's not worth it that's gonna cost a lot uh, engine conversion is gonna cost a lot either way it's, it's gonna cost a lot so let me know down in the comments what you think so next up I'm gonna drain the transmission oil which is also a bit of a pain because the freaking bolt has stripped <sighs> anyways I'm gonna get that out Just drain it Park the Jeep level again. So then we'll wait for you guys to comment down below as to what would you do in this situation. Would you scrap it? Would you like to see it built? Would you like to see something else in it? What would you like to see in it? So on that note, thank you all for watching. Keep safe. Cheers.